I've just finished it. It was really tasty. Um, I did have a very runny nose by the time I was finished. Probably a bit of a clammy forehead and uh, face. And my mouth is quite, quite burny, but it's a good burn. It's the burn I like. So yeah, all in all, quite impressed. I liked it. Nice work, Ed. That's one done, on to the next one. Back with dish number two. We did the mac and cheese chili. It was decent, nice little meal to be fair, nice little meal for a microwave meal, like I said in the video. I'm not expecting anything gourmet, but it was pretty decent to be fair. And this time we're doing the chicken tikka masala. I'm doing this one second because I put a vote out to do which one first, and the other one was the winner of that, so um, that's why I want this one next. So when I went through the ingredients on the last one, I think it ended up, I think it said it's like 1% pepper x in it so i wasn't expecting it to be anything crazy and it certainly wasn't um this i knock in a percentage of it at all in here i mean it's got a lot of ingredients in here because obviously it is a there's a lot of sauce that goes into a uh, this curry sauce and the chicken tikka masala but it does sound good and i do love chicken tikka masala and i actually had chicken tikka masala for dinner last night um miss jigs went out and got dinner and um sort of forgot that I was, not forgot that I was doing this, but that, yeah, this is what the meal was, chicken tikka masala, so yeah. I've had two nuts on trot, but hey, it's fine. It's all good. It's delicious and I love it. Well, hopefully this will be as well. Um, so yeah, chicken tikka masala sauce, but with pepper X in it. Um, I mean, there's so much, I mean, it's garlic puree, ginger puree, ground cumin, lemon juice, coriander leaf, clear honey, garam masala, coriander cinnamon, ground cloves, ginger powder, star anise, dried chili, ground fennel, black pepper, ground bay leaf, sunflower oil, ground nutmeg, ground cardamom, ground cumin, uh, pepper X chili powder, ground turmeric, ground coriander, cumin seeds, salt, paprika extract, fenugreek leaf, smoked paprika, obviously chicken, blah blah blah. blah. And it smells delicious, even Miss Jig said, that does smell good. I'm sure she would, it probably, if it wasn't going to burn it, she would sure it taste, it would taste good as well, but yeah. So, as we can see, they're putting it again, cause extremely hot. How hot is Pepper X on a Scoville heat? It's got here Pepper X, 318,000 Scovilles, million, sorry, 3 million, I did this last time, I said it completely wrong. 3 million, 180,000, idiot. So yeah, um, it's not going to be that, is it? Because it's not. Is this going to be hotter? Well, I'm thinking this might actually be hotter than the last one. Um, but yeah, we're going to find out right now. And also, as before, a Iceland has slapped an 18 plus only on here. So you're going to need ID if you're going to buy this. Three pints of lager and a pint of Guinness. Will you ID? Yeah. You know this is an Australian driving license? Yep. So you're Australian? That's right, mate. Unless you are old like me. Anyway, let's just get into this. I've put it in the microwave. Um, I'm hoping that it's cooled down now in the sense of heat, not spice, because it'll burn the shit. I'm never a big fan normally of chicken in the microwave meals, so it's normally the shittest chicken, but hopefully this will be all right. We'll soon see. Cool, temperature's good. Right, let's get straight into it. Let's just eat this. Good flavour. Mm. This instantly hotter. Instantly hotter. This is definitely hotter than the um, chili mac and cheese. It's tasty. The chicken bits are actually quite nice. Actually, they're not. Um, they're not so. Uh, they can normally be a bit rubbery and stuff in some of these uh, meals. This actually got some good kick to it. I'm feeling the burn in my mouth, down my throat, and I've got hiccups. 
Instant hiccups. It's been a long time since I've had hiccups. And they're pretty annoying. Once you start, you can't stop, you've got to sit away from the go. Mm. I'm feeling flushed in my cheeks. This is ab actually hotter. Oh my God, I hate hiccups. I'd like to eat, please. Oh. I think the hiccups are gone. Yeah. Mmm. This is generally got some heat to it. I ain't gonna lie. Apart from the, um, what was it I had last? Oh yeah, the world's hottest ramen. Um, that was horrible and hurt. This is actually kicking a bit as well. One's mouth is actually burning. Still tastes good. I'll have a bit of a drink, I think. The flavour is delicious. It's a nice chicken tikka masala. I've got a cheese in my teeth. But it is, it is packing some heat. I'm not gonna lie. <coughs> it's gonna take me a little while to eat this. <sighs> well done. <coughs> Good work, Iceland. I think also the fact that I was totally, um, it's totally thrown me out because uh, the heat that was in the um, chili mac and cheese, nowhere near this. This is so much hotter. I would, you know, that was probably a two or three. This is definitely pushing a, a seven or an eight or a seven. But yeah, whew. I'm getting the tingles, the burns, the face sweats, a bit of everything. Whew. I had a runny nose. Whew. It's been such a while since I felt like this. I'm not used to it. I'm gonna keep plugging away because it, it genuinely is tasty. But um, I am actually shocked by the heat. Oh, well, I ate all the chicken. I left the rest of the sauce there. Now I've got a chocolate mini milk in my mouth. That was genuinely hot. Genuinely, sorry. I ain't gonna laugh. Well done, Iceland. For the slagging off I do to all you companies that make these hot things. Finally something with some heat. I'm impressed. So credit when credit is due. If you like it the spicy, definitely try this one out. Skip the mac and cheese. That's just a nice meal. This actually packs some heat in my opinion. It's real tingly. It's like Something like a stinging nettle on my tongue. It's a different kind of heat compared to other chilies I've had. 
Yeah. All right. I'm going to leave that there. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And hopefully, I'll see you on another Jigs Reviews. Stay spicy. Possibly not this spicy, but spicy. Laters.